Hello guys, Jeff from Ethical Practice here and welcome to the next in our Facebook Quick Tip series where today we're doing part three of our series on insights. How to understand and analyze your page, your posts, your likes so that you can enhance the effectiveness of your business page on Facebook. So let's get straight into it. You can see here I'm on my home page. I've clicked on this link and we want to go straight into the insights section. Whoops. I'm going to click on that again. Now this is the overview. We've already discussed this in part one. We've already discussed the likes in our part two. Today we're going to be looking at reach. So let's take a look. Clicking on reach. Okay, what this tells us is reach essentially is how many times do my posts show up on other people's either uh, uh, page uh, timeline or their personal page timeline. So. This is really an uh, effective tool in understanding whether what we're posting is actually getting to anyone at all. So let's have a look. So again, the great thing about Facebook is it has this great little tool that you can increase or decrease uh, the time, time range that you're having a look at. So you can basically do it for just a very small period of time. I can do it, you can see here, basically close to a week, or I can go to a month, or I can go to three months, which is fantastic. So let's have a look at the three month period in this case. So down here we're looking at post reach. So it's basically the number of people that your post was served to, as they say. Like I say, it's really how many times your post showed up on someone's page. So again, we've got this great little hover tool. You can see here we've got two uh, types of posts. Organic posts, so ones that I'm just posting all the time, or paid posts. So posts that I've paid for to be boosted, to be increased um, onto pages that might be relevant for me. And this is a great little tool. So let's have a look. So you can see here when I start at the start of February, so organic posts was looking about 229, we had a bit of a spike. And then we had another spike up here, 980. We keep having a look. And now we start to get into the paid range. So this is where I was testing Facebook advertising to see how effective it was. And you can see by this spike that it was pretty effective. I went from you know, the highest point being 980 uh, in February to the highest point being 1,472 here in, on the 12th of March. So advertising does work. It has an impact. It gets our posts in the face of people. But advertising is not just about that. It's getting people to act as well. And we're going to talk about how to use Facebook advertising effectively for your business as well in some later posts. So let's go down and have a little bit of a look and see what that reach resulted in. So how many likes occurred in that period? So we're looking at uh, likes, comments, and shares. So really what we want to do, we want people engaging with our posts and this helps us to be able to reach more people. So you can see here, uh, if I hover over this one, we had 90 people shared a, a, a post on that day, which is fantastic. And then if we go up a little bit higher, we had 136 likes and we go down a little bit here, we've got two comments. So really what we want is more engagement with our posts. The reason why we want engagement is people scroll through um, social media very quickly. So they just glance. So if you're in that glance, it's great. It makes a difference. But it's more effective if they actually stop, click on your post, like it, comment it. It means they're spending more time, they're more interested in that post, and that is really what we want them to do because the more that they do that, the more they're likely to remember you when they've got an issue that you're able to help them with. So they're gonna to come to you as opposed to go and see anyone else. All right, now, this also shows us the negative aspects of our reach. So how many people wanted to hide a post? How many people wanted to report that post as spam? How many people unliked my page. This is not great stuff, so we want this to be as low as possible. Now let's have a look. Uh, this hover mechanism doesn't actually work on this, but you can see here we've got one, two, three people. So the most um, I've had in a three month period is three people, oh sorry that hover period does work, wanted to hide my posts. So 
maybe they didn't like what I was doing. And that's unfortunate, but it's part of, uh, part of Facebook. I had two here unlike my page, and again, I had one person hide my post. The most important one I want to avoid is ones that are reported as spam. And you can see here that I haven't had any of those, which is great. All right, total reach, we're coming down. This is basically the total as, uh, aspect of um, page likes, ads, mentions, and check-ins. So again, it gives us a bit of a rundown. We can do that hover, use that hover tool effectively there. So this has been a, a bit of a general overview of the reach function of your insights on your Facebook page. Really important tool to have a look at. I suggest you just go and have a little bit of a play, learn to understand it a little bit more effectively. And we're going to um, move on to our next video now where we're going to be having a look at the visits. How many people visit your page and what's the statistics around that stuff. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, we're really designing these uh, Facebook Quick Tips series to help you be able to use Facebook more efficiently, more effectively to help you get busier faster in your practice. Thanks again for watching this video. Have a great day.